would defence spending go down or up under a green government? It would stay pretty much the same at the 2% level. What do you think the biggest defence and security threat facing the UK is? And one of the biggest threats that we face is um, the use of nuclear power uh, and the real trident. It makes us a target. Uh, it opens us up, particularly on domestic nuclear uh, capability with Hinckley, with massive Chinese investment. Um, to, you know, there's a threat there. Uh, a cyber threat is clearly a massive uh, issue as well. Um, and terror is also you know, a, a massive issue. I mean, recently generals, well, a few years ago, wrote to the Times newspaper saying that Trident was rather inappropriate for the 21st century. Uh, this wasn't the kind of where we should be spending our money. And that there are alternative threats that we need to look at. I think we need to take that very seriously when it's a general telling you that. Why should members of the armed forces trust you as Prime Minister? Well, we have people's well-being uh, at heart, and it isn't just about uh, members of the armed forces, it's about their friends, their family. Uh, ultimately, we want a more secure economy for everyone, we want better public services, we want to raise the quality of life through a basic income, we want to cut bills uh, for people, uh, and we want to create that society where everyone thrives, and members of the armed forces are no different to anyone else in that respect. They want the common good, like we do. So you've got a defence question that you want to ask those vying to run the country. Well, here's how you do it. Take your phone, make sure it's in landscape, not portrait that way, landscape. Make sure your head is in the middle of the screen. Look straight into the camera, press record and ask away. It's really that simple. Just make sure you tell us your name and your link to the armed forces before you send it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video or why not see what the other leaders had to say. Thank you.